want to be vague and useless it is definitely the case that there is no more exceptional form of the capacity to be dangerous than to be articulate in so it's a moral endeavor in some real sense become articulate as to become the master of your own tongue every advantage comes with a disadvantage so if you're extroverted you're social in you're positive but you're impulsive in you can tilt towards hedonism and you can't stand being alone no matter where you land in the temperamental landscape you're going to have your associated faults and temptations you've got a goal and you'll see that as you progress towards the goal there'll be obstacles that emerge and some of them you don't want to confront that's why it's useful to order your room chaotic room makes you anxious why too many pathways man people don't really repress the things they don't want to face they just fail to unpack them you want a horizon of ever expanding possibility were built to walk up hill and when you reach the pinnacle of the hill you want to stop and appreciate the vision but the next thing you want as a higher hill in the distance beware of unintended consequences it's like oh no this thing will just do what i wanted to do and nothing else it's like no it turns out that not only is what we want from each other the real thing but that's also the adventure of your life and so if you aren't truthful and that means unfortunately especially at the beginning when you start to be truthful it means deeply coming to terms with your inadequacies in humility so it's very painful without that you don't have the adventure of your life you have the role that you've acquiesced to and that'll take all the meaning out of your life it's good for you to go take your place in the world have some ambition have a vision have a goal have a strategy try to be a good person not because it's your duty precisely because that's the proper way to live you sit on your bed and say okay man i'm ready to learn something what's one thing i'm doing wrong that i know i'm doing wrong that i could fix you meditate on that you'll get an answer you grow in proportion to the weight you take on voluntarily and it's also true that we have no idea what the upper limit to that is it's from the uphill climb that we derive our value and i mean this technically so almost all the positive emotion we feel especially the emotion that fills us with enthusiasm and that's experienced in relationship to a goal and so in some sense you want a goal that you can never attain so you can always move closer to the goal that recedes as you move towards it you think well that's frustrating it's like Sisyphus pushing the rock uphill but it's not because as you pursue that goal you put yourself together in your life does get better and richer and more abundant that's why the highest levels of virtue and goal are in some sense transcendent you want them to be above everything you're doing so you can continually move towards something that's more sublime and better that's what you are you're here to live not to not to sleep in the problem with the vision of my ties on the beach is that well first of all that's a vision of of 
drug-induced unconsciousness second it's only going to work for about a week third you're going to be a laughing stock in a month and depressed in aimless and engolless it's no that's not it's it's you want a horizon of ever expanding possibility and so it does happen to people as they because they've staked their soul on the attainment of an instrumental goal and it can be a pretty high order goal but then you think now I'm there now what well the answer can't be well I'm going to live in the lap of luxury and never have to leave the what do you want to be a giant infant with a gold with a gold bottle you never have to do anything but lay in your back and suck it's like you see the problem with that as a conceptualization it's no you want to be like an active warrior moving uphill with your sword in hand and that's that's dynamic that's exciting people are afraid of the truth because often if you reveal it it causes conflict in the moment telling the truth is definitely an adventure seeking for sure but also telling another way of going about it is to just say what you think and see what happens that's an adventure because you don't know what the outcome is going to be so look there's this old idea that it's necessary to have faith in the truth and so here's here as a way of thinking about that someone asks you a question and you might think well here's the outcome I want and so here's how I'm going to answer that question so that's one way of approaching it but another way of approaching it is you ask me a question I'm going to think about the answer and I'm just going to tell you what I think and it doesn't matter what the outcome is because I'm willing to see what the outcome will be predicated on the idea that there isn't a better outcome than the one that truth produces even if it's harsh and terrible in the in the short term and sometimes it is it's like there isn't a better better way of doing it now you might say well how do you know that an answer is well I don't know that that's why it's an article of faith because I believe in and I believe this deeply the being that you produce as a consequence of telling the truth is good by definition even though it's harsh and often uncomfortable because you get in trouble one of the things that I've really learned recently or learned to articulate better is that there's a very tight relationship between aspiration and responsibility the first question might be do you need to aspire to something and the answer is well yes because you have to do something okay if you just sit there you'll die you can't just sit there you have to go act out in the world okay so act towards what well that's whatever your aspiration is you have to have a name okay well what should the aim be well it should be something worth doing let's say what why do something that you don't feel is worth doing what do you thinks worth doing well if you watch other people and you judge when they're doing something worthwhile you usually judge them positively if you see that they're taking responsibility at least for themselves but you want to be completely useless so other people have to take care of you that's pretty pathetic and maybe you could get your 
Act together so you're taken care of. Yourself and your family and maybe you. Could even do better than that and take. Care of yourself and your family and.